We're sitting in the middle of Weymouth Bay now, so we're about a mile offshore. Um, the sea state is, uh, well, it's not exactly rough, but it's certainly a lot more rolly than it was inside the harbour, as you'd expect. The main thing about being out here, though, is to look at what's going on with the land around us um, and the effect of the land on the wind. There's cliffs and valleys and there's obstacles in there. Um, so if you have a wind that's blowing off the land, if, uh, if you have an offshore wind, what will happen is that it tends to funnel down the valleys. So, so if you're sailing on the coast, you can go from lots of wind to not much wind, lots of wind to not much wind. Slightly less uh, obvious though, is what happens if the wind is onshore. It doesn't just go to the base of, cl of the cliff and then go up and over like that. The cliffs have a bit of a bow wave ahead of them. So if you have an onshore wind with, with cliffs and things like this, what will happen is that the wind will start lifting off the, off, off the surface probably two to three hundred meters offshore so if you sail too far inland um, even if it's an onshore breeze you may well end up in an area of very fluky patchy wind uh, which isn't terribly good 